normally we when we calculated the bending stresses and shear stresses on a beam let's think about a 2 by 4 beam something like that let's draw the 3d diagram it's very nice drawing so this is a 2 by 4 so if I draw so when I apply force here it becomes a beam now this plane so this plane basically when you apply force like this this plane try to kind of bend like this so if we have this is our neutral axis xx so if I draw this plane right here so with respect to the neutral axis you can see that it's trying to bend uh, rotate like this um, so in that case we calculated FB bending stress at the top fiber or bottom fiber is the highest MC by I so now think about this if we so this is a load um, coming from the top now is, is assume that we have another load going this way kind of pushing this piece um, that the this direction so that way so if we have if we push the beam that way imagine the perpendicular to this surface then this plane with respect to the y-axis this plane kind of uh, try to bend um, rotate this direction perpendicular to the x-direction if I draw that piece it becomes this becomes the neutral axis now and then this piece is try to rotate this way or this way depends how the loading condition is now so the bending stress now would be mc by i same equation on the top fiber however the direction would be different so this one let's say the direction is y so m will be calculated with respect to y c with respect to y and this for example x x x so the total bending stress will be FBY, I would say plus minus, plus minus. The reason why I say plus minus, because that depends on whether that particular member is compression or tension. So if I take this cross section, that's two by four cross section, just right here. Let's say this is our point one, this is our point two, point three, point four. So in this drawing, this is going to be point 0.1, this is going to be point 0.2, this is our point 0.3, this is our point 0.4. As you can see, point 0.1 and 3 um, for the uh, FBY will be in compression. So compression is negative. And then point 0.2 and 4 will be in tension for this stress. So we'll have to kind of manually add these um, if we are interested at uh, let's set point one what happened to point one so point one because of that so if b at point one that would be for the y stress y direction x is stress it's going to be in compression so compression is a negative sign typically f b y and then f b along the x axis because of the x uh, loading this P loading from the top this point one will be in tension it will try to bend like that so tension is positive FVX so we'll have to kind of manually calculate this once we get this um, bending stress MC by uh, I and also of course um, you have to be careful on calculating the I um, so uh, for example this one I would be um, let's say this is a 2 by 4 beam 2 by 4 let's use the nominal dimension just for the understanding 1 by 12 B H cube with respect to X now this one with respect to Y 1 by 12 base would be 4 now times 2 cube so uh, you have to be careful on that uh, piece and of course the C also changes C is the distance from the neutral axis to the outer fiber so neutral axis to the outer fiber is this now 
So CY is basically 2 by 2 here, and then CX here is 4 by 2. I'm using the nominal dimension. You should never use nominal dimension in your calculation. This is just a demonstration purpose only. So that, that, and we can calculate the moment uh, using the table in the back of the appendix book.